Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk about what I want to see in Season 2 of X Defiant. I'm going to go over some just some minor things like uh, some slight bugs or some slight annoyances which would be nice to see polished out and then other things like features or things that will affect gameplay and the longevity of the enjoyment and attention that people might have with the game. So the first thing that I want to start off with is getting into games faster. Now this one could be entirely a play account issue, it could be something unrelated, it could be servers, it could be it could, it could be a lot of things, right? This game doesn't have skill-based matchmaking, so it's not that that is taking so long to get into games, as this game just simply prioritises your ping. However, there have been times, particularly in, you know, in, in my region where I would be playing when maybe uh, other people wouldn't be. I'm talking like 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning, and particularly 5 in the morning. Three times that I have tried playing the game and you get to that sort of 5am mark and it's taking you like 15 to 20 minutes to get into a game. Actually, that might be an over-exaggeration. It might be more like 10 to 15, but what I've noticed is... I don't know if this is... How true this is, I've not ran testing on it or anything, but obviously the game doesn't have, it doesn't keep the same lobby, right? Which I think would automatically help this issue. But every time you finish a game, the lobby disbands and you go back into queuing for a new game. Well, what I've noticed is it almost feels like when you are loading in without, you know, fully going back to the menu and then like manually queuing again, when you're just in that automatic queue that it puts you in as soon as you've just finished a game, it feels like that actually might take longer than if you just fully go out and research yourself. I don't know if that's true. Some testing would have to go into that. It would be way out of my ability. Um, so if anyone knows how to do that, give that a try. Or alternatively, if there's any uh, you know people who work on the game watching this video, I doubt it, but you know it might be something to, to look into. We, and this takes me on to my next point quite well anyway. So the next point I wanted to make was um, about disbanding lobbies. Because disbanding lobbies in this game, they... It, I think it it's a big issue, which really does affect a lot of things in the game. I think this game feels really good for the most part, but something that I think would make it feel even better is if the same names and same people that I'm seeing in games I saw, like, like the old days of COD where you could like have little rivalries or you can um, you know see someone who's really good and you want to stay in that lobby because while you think you know well I say think I consider myself a decent player in most games I am going positive or very positive and there will be times when I'll see someone who's like a level 250 and they're an absolute demon and I would love to be able to stay in that lobby to kind of get an idea of what they're doing what they're using um, you know, kind of absorb the information from that player to make myself a better player. But obviously with disbanding lobbies, unless it's like those super late lobbies where you might see someone again, um, yeah, you, you're probably not seeing that player again. The next thing I wanted to say, I mean, this is, everyone is talking about this. Literally everyone is yappy, yapping, 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 yapping about this. And that is better netcode. I don't really know what netcode means entirely, but based on what other people have said, I've got some ideas. And um, I'm just marking this as netcode because, again, I don't really know too much about what netcode even is. I'm not I'm not no game developer. But um, not getting shot around walls so much is, is kind of the, the gist of it. There's a lot of gunfights I'm in where it'll be quite a long range gunfight, right? And there's a lot of uh, map geometry between us. So a lot of the times I'll do like a slide jump around the corner. And I'll be a good like four or five feet around the wall. And then I'll still die. Um, which I suspect based on what again what other people have said to be a netcode issue. Which that is kind of annoying. There's nothing I can really do about that. But it's, it's like I could understand if I was slide jumping and as I just started it I died because that would have meant they shot me when they could see me but I'm, I'm talking like I'm sliding around a, a building uh, like a, a full-on brick wall and um, yeah it just doesn't really make sense 
that along with what I've noticed happening a lot recently, and I think this might be netcode as well, is let's say um, I'm using, it, it's most notable, it's most noticeable with weapons that do uh, a lot of damage. So like snipers. Um, let's say you're in one of those moments where you both shoot each other. There's a lot of times when you both shoot each other and you both die, right? I understand that. That can happen. But there are also... There's times when that happens, I see a hit marker. Bear in mind I'm using a sniper. And when I've died, and you get to see the, the, the guy who killed you running around, his health will say 100, even though I've just shot him in the chest with a sniper and seen the hit marker. I think those two things are quite important for just a lot of people. It, it, like it's It happens once or twice a game, generally, maybe three times, you know. It's not super common, but it's kind of annoying. Now, the next thing that I want to see in Season 2 is something that I do not hear people talking about at all, actually. It's completely a me issue, uh, from what I can tell. But it is something that I do want to mention, and I do want to show off, because it is important, and it is... I mean, it's not it's not the end of the world, but it's something that I would like to see, you know. That's, that's the point of this video. And that is uh, better contrast on the reticles. And what I mean by that is... There's a lot of times when you're using a sight, like a, a red dot or a holographic, where if you are looking at something that is bright, so there's one map in particular, which is um, it's an escort map, and it's got an inside section and an outside section. Um, if you're looking outside uh, with a red dot and you're inside, you can't see your red dot at all. And there's a lot of points in the game where this happens, and it just, it, it's, I don't really like it. It, it. It's distracting, and it makes you lose more gunfights than you should be, but again, it's a, it's not a huge issue. It wouldn't be the end of the world if that wasn't changed in Season 2, but again, it would be nice to see. The next thing I want to see is more game modes. We've been getting teased with uh, Search and Destroy for a while, and I think Search and Destroy on this game could be a lot of fun. There's a lot of really good maps, particularly the... Um, I would like to see like segments of the escort maps used for search and destroy. Because generally what I'm playing in this game is team deathmatch. That's pretty much all I'm playing personally. Um, so I only see the like 6v6 maps. But I think it would be cool if we could get some of the escort maps, which are much longer, much larger maps, uh, kind of segmented off and used as um, like search and destroy and uh, maybe even 6v6, but I think uh, Search and Destroy in particular could could benefit from that. It could be it could be a lot of fun. But yeah, just more game modes in general. Um, free for all would be nice. Um, maybe some uh, party modes like gun game or um, things like that. One in a chamber. I think just just thinking about COD game modes, I'm sure that the, the actual teams could um, come up with with more unique or interesting ones. But gun game in particular is is a fan favorite and. It's one that I would like to see in X Defiant. The next one, I mean, <sighs> this is a tough one because I've literally just gotten it written down as remove Spider-Bot. Now, do I think the Spider-Bot has to be removed? Not necessarily. I think we could quite easily get around nerfing the Spider-Bot. I don't know how they would do it. Um, maybe instead of it jumping on your face, it just, uh, like, zapped you from the ground. Um, and then you could just look down and, like, find it and shoot it. That could maybe be a, uh, a, a, a one way to counter it. I think would be a lot more, uh, game-friendly because there's times, especially if you're using a sniper like I have been a little bit recently, uh, if you're using a sniper and a spider bot jumps on you and you try and look at your feet to, like, get it off, it's... It's like 50-50 on if you can even shoot it off. It's, uh, and then obviously, assuming that there's a, the, the guy who threw the spider bot down is following his spider bot, you are pretty much dead meat because you're stood there, you've just shot your sniper, it's a bolt action, you've all wait for it to rechamber, and by then you're already gone. I would like to see some sort of nerf to the spider bot. It's, it's just goofy. It doesn't feel, um, fair. It doesn't really feel fun. Um, it just, it's very anti-fun, I feel like. Uh, I get jumped on by a spider bot and it just it's annoying because I already know that I'm probably gonna die and there's literally nothing I don't get me wrong there is something you can do about it but there's something that you can do about it is very hit and miss and 
I just don't like it. I would like to see something done with, with the spider bot, whether it be changed for a different ability or whether it be, um, like I said, just nerfed, maybe just have it zap people on the floor. And the last thing that I have on my list, now don't get me wrong, before now and season two, I think it's like a couple of weeks away, uh, I could maybe come up with some new things, but uh, bear in mind I've been playing for about a week again since I've gotten back into the game and this is all the things I've written down. The last thing I've put on here is Iron Sights for Snipers. It's a pretty weird one, and a lot of people might disagree, but I'm not saying put red dots on, I'm not saying put like short scopes on. I'm saying give us like Iron Sights, like if you, if, if any of you guys have played uh, Black Ops 2, you probably have, you'll remember the Ballista from that game. You were able to put an Iron Sight on it, and it was kind of cool. I think that's kind of a cool addition. It's more more creativity, more options. There's no skill based in this game, so it's not harmful to the game, really. Um, I think it could be a lot of fun. Uh, it could, the downsides of it could, you know, work well enough to, to make it balanced as well. And uh, yeah, I just think it's something that I would like to see. Again, everything I've said in this video is entirely just what I would like to see in the game for Season 2. Um, alongside the obvious things like, you know, more maps or, you know, more guns and stuff like that they're a given, you, you're going to see those anyway. But yeah, that's about it. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and consider joining if you want to support me financially. Thank you. Have a great day and peace.